answer. I am just doing what I feel. My mama said trying is failing. There is no ifs, woulds, coulds, shoulds. It just is. And we just are. I would say ask her out. No matter who she is, whether she's a job or a new city, an opportunity or a fear or an actual person, whatever she is, man, ask her out. Go out there and make something of yourself for God's sake. Be an honest person and work and get to the top of whatever it is that you want to get to the top of. Stand up for yourself like a respectable human being and be a bit of a light on the world instead of a blight. That might make life worth living. It's like, yeah, it might. So why don't you go do it? The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. People in this world shun people for being great, for being a bright color, for standing out. But the time is now to be okay to be the greatest you. You and I are capable of doing whatever we can see. We can hold it in our head, we can hold it in our hand. Don't waste your life. Set your goals high. Quit thinking about what's wrong. Start thinking what's right. Love a little more, hate a little less. You have no idea what you're capable of doing. Make up your mind today, you're going to figure it out. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is, and your, your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. But life, that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Is to shake off this, uh, th this, uh... Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. It is good to be generous, benign, and magnanimous, but there's a limit, or you'll be taken for granted. The cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. And one path we shall never choose, and that is the path of surrender or submission. John F. Kennedy Don't tell your friends that you're happy. Don't make them angry. Don't tell your enemies that you're unhappy. Don't make them happy. What stands in the way becomes the way. The most precious gift we can offer anyone is our attention. When mindfulness embraces those we love, they will bloom like flowers. Thich Nhat Hanh. Come back. I got comeback power. It's no time to be casual. It's time to be on fire. It's time to increase your energy and your drive and your passion to win. See, at some point in time, all of us have seen our destiny. I was six years old, man by the name of Reverend Ed Graham, a Mount Zion Baptist Church in Miami. I was six years old right before Christmas. My mother was ill. We had no food in the house. And this tall, strapping man around 6'1 came to the door with a food basket in his hand. And he says, hello, is this the Brown family? My mother said, yes. I understand that you have two sons and a daughter and that you have no food. Yes, I'm from Mount Zion Baptist Church. And around Christmas time, we pass out food baskets to needy families. Take the basket in behalf of the church and have a nice Christmas. And when he walked out, I said, oh boy, I'd like to be like that man. And I went to his church and I used to watch him speak and tall and powerful and dynamic speaker. Such eloquence. Uh, one of his favorite people was the poet Kipling who wrote, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. A friend of mine, Mildred Singleton, well, she was on a school outing and, and they took her to a hospital and she was in the operating room watching from a distance and she saw someone working or doing eye surgery. She says, that's what I want to do. She's just a teenager and today she's an ophthalmologist. All of us have seen our destiny at some point in time and we decided not to listen. We decided to ignore it and say, no, that's, that's not for me. Life came in and slapped us side the head and we stopped dreaming anymore.
The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experience of life. And that's what causes many of us to give up on our volcano. The experiences and the challenges, the defeats, the disappointments and the failures of life. And we decide to sell out on our true potential, sell out on living our dreams, feeling that we're not good enough, not wanting to make any mistakes, particularly if you're raised with a great deal of criticism. So you've got to be willing. What? Are either Panthea or Pergamus abiding to this day by their master's tombs? Or either Chabrias or Diotimus by that of Adrianus? Oh, foolery! For what if they did? Would their masters be sensible of it? Or if sensible, would they be glad of it? Or if glad, were these immortal? Was not it appointed unto them also, both men and women, to become old in time, and then to die? And these once dead, what would become of these former? And when all is done, what is all this for, but for a mere bag of blood and corruption? Hard times may have held you down, but they will not last forever. Don't get bogged down in regrets. No one is perfect. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. Oscar Wilde Never sacrifice these three things, your family, your heart, or your dignity. They are not dead who live in the hearts they leave behind. Let go of the idea of who you think you should be and embrace who you truly are. Muji They just have enough energy to complain about it, and they consider that, in fact, they believe that that's equivalent to doing something about it, just complaining. No, that can't get you where you want to go. That cannot create your reality for you. The other thing that keeps most people from realizing their true greatness and their true potential, circumstances, their environment. There are many people who believe because of where they're born, because of the area where they are in life and where they find themselves, that's all they know. Given my circumstances, ladies and gentlemen, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. See, I know something about you, even not knowing you, that you've got greatness within you. You have the ability to do things that you can't even begin to imagine. You have talents and skills in you that you haven't even begun to reach for yet. No one could have convinced me, given my circumstances, given my background, that I would be doing what I'm doing right now. I was born in Liberty City on a floor on 62nd Street, my twin brother and me. When we were six weeks of age, we were adopted. When I was in fifth grade, I was identified as EMR, labeled educable mentally retarded, and put back from the fifth grade into the fourth grade and stayed in that category until I got out of high school. I have no college training, but here's what happened. I had an intervention in my life. A man who saw something in me in a time that I did not see something in myself. I never forget being in his class one day waiting on a friend of mine who was there to rehearse for a play. He did not show up and he asked me to go up to the board and write something on the board. And I said, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? I said, I, well, I'm, I'm in a special education class. He said, what do you mean? go up to the board and write what I'm about to tell you. I said, I can't do that, sir. Why not? I'm educable, mentally retarded. And he came from behind his desk. He said, don't ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. And that changed my life. It was Oliver Wendell Holmes who said that once a person's mind is... Of all the means which wisdom acquires to ensure happiness throughout the whole of life, by far the most important is friendship. It's easy to say you want something, but it's hard to actually make it happen. It is our attitude toward events, not events themselves, which we can control. Nothing is by its own nature calamitous. Even death is terrible only if we fear it. One word frees us of all the weight and pain of life. That word is love. Sophocles. There is time for everything. 